I've got a problem. As promised, I'm going to take you over to find the end of Bagley Brook. But I don't have a pair of Wellingtons. But, even if I did have Wellingtons, I wouldn't call them that. In Canada, we call them Stompin' Toms. If you're Canadian, you get that joke. Wellies, or Wellingtons, are named after the Duke of Wellington. That guy that won the Battle of Waterloo. You know, he beat Napoleon. And Stompin' Tom? Well, he wrote the hockey song. Yep, I don't have any Wellies, or Stompin' Toms or any friendlies either. But what I do have is the next best thing. Well, the next best thing that I own anyway. <laughs> now I know they may look like Wellingtons, but they're not. These are piss quicks. Now it's well known that one of the worst things you can have is a lake in your boot. And when that happens, or the uppers get torn, or you have a lake in your boot, you can cut them off and make a pair of these. Piss quicks, you know, when you have to rush outside and, uh, you know. Well, here we are. And this is Cinderland Brook. Now, just in that way. Cinderland Brook begins and Bagley Brook ends. So let's see what kind of adventure this is going to be without wellies. So I have no idea if this bridge has a name. Maybe we should come up with one. This is not the bridge we are looking for. I thought this was Bagley Brook until I looked at it on a map. This is Cinderland Brook. We're in my neighborhood now. This is Smith's Field. I just popped over here because it's in my neighborhood. And it becomes Cinderland Brook. Not far in there at all. I was gonna go in there, but it's way too overgrown. And just, uh, just past those fences there, that last bit of fence we can see is where it becomes Cinderland, where Bagley and very well meet. It becomes Cinderland Brook. So that will be an adventure someday to see where Bagley Brook ends. And uh, maybe someday we'll find out where it begins. I know where it ends. So where does it begin? Hmm. I don't think it's too far in this way. Okay, here it looks like I need to get to the other side. Now I wish I'd taken my stick. <laughs> so that's the uh, biggest jump I've made in a while. So if you remember the last time we looked in here, this was nothing but brambles. And there was no way to get in here. Well, is this it? Have we arrived as quickly as that? Well, As easy as that. As I said, it's not far in at all. But there it is. I think that one's very well. And this one's Bagley. And they meet 
right here. So this is the kind of stuff we were up against last time. I wasn't going to fight all that all the way in. Amazing how it's all died back. Wonder if somebody's done some clearing here. Oh, is that a football? It's Gilbert. Gilbert! Gilbert! Just in here is the junction of Fairywell and Bagley. And I promise one day I'll take you in there. But look at these brambles. Oh my God. These are, these would take your leg off. Very dangerous. We're not going in there for a while yet. <laughs> it's a shame that people throw their rubbish around. Confluence. And there you go. Cinderland Brook. Now Cinderland Brook appears to be the border between Sale and Timperley. But I'm really not certain about that. It's really hard to find modern maps that show the borders. But in that old uh, sail charter video, you can see the mayor and the, those officials at Cinderland Brook. And that would probably be beating the bounds. We think we have located one of the more difficult locations. Around 8.13 in the video, the mayor and mace bearer are climbing into a car by an old stone wall. We believe this wall is in fact this bridge which I'm standing on, which is over Sydenham Brook on the A56 on the border between Sale and Altrincham. It was the custom in the past for mayor and other officials to walk the boundaries of the town once a year to make them legal and record them officially. This is what the Charter Mail would be acting out and briefly visible of the black and white timber buildings of the Pelican behind me. So we've adventured along and around Bagley Brook many times in our videos. And I promised I'd bring you to the end, so there you go, as promised. But I guess now we need to find out where it begins. I followed it on the map uh, a couple of years ago, I guess. I don't recall, and I can't really find where it begins. I think it's somewhere way out by the airport somewhere. All right, we have to make our leap of faith back again. Safely on the other side. No wellies required. All you need is a good pair of piss quicks. whole lot of different names for Wellingtons and you wouldn't believe how ridiculous it sounds to a foreigner's ears to hear a grown man call his boots wellies. So if you want to help us out with the things we do around here, head over to wickedacorn.com and become a member of the Brew Crew. Let's help that young fella get a pair of wellies.